And somehow it brings back memories, well, memories. It's more like a nightmare of the CrowdStrike incident, right? But just to be clear, this issue, this vulnerability, affects every version of 7 zip before version 25. So if you are on 25, well, it's all right, right? So if you ever deploy 7 zip, I guess you already know it, but it doesn't update itself. No built in updater, no prompt, no notification. So Unless someone installs the update, the 25 update manually, it just sits there, vulnerable. So if you didn't update it to the latest version, it's vulnerable. And I guess, let's be honest, because 7-zip is everywhere. Dev machines, build systems, packaging tools, most of them installed and forgotten. But again, this issue isn't just about 7-zip. This is what happens with third-party apps in general. They don't get the same attention as Windows updates. The real problem is this. Patch management for third-party apps is usually disconnected from any proper vulnerability management process. If your security team is doing vulnerability assessments and your IT team is still manually pushing updates, yeah, that's a big gap. A gap that needs to be closed. 